The next type of shock is going to be the obstructive shock, which is going to be uh, the, the umbrella category of combination of either pump failure or poor uh, circulation. Um, there's a couple different causes depending on the type of shock. Uh, the first type of obstructive shock is tamponade, which is going to be the fluid in the pericardial sac, which eventually causes the heart to fail because it cannot pump due to the constriction from the fluid in the sac around the heart. Uh, the second type is the pneumothorax or the tension pneumothorax, which is going to be the air in the pleural space, which is going to cause um, the lungs to compress the vessels around the heart, causing the blood to not be able to circulate through the body because it can't get to the heart. And the last one is going to be the embolism, which is a clot which prevents the blood from getting into the heart. Um, so the tamponade would be a pump type failure um, as the heart isn't able to physically pump and the pneumothorax and the embolisms would be a circulation failure as the blood isn't able to get to the heart to be pumped throughout the rest of the body. The treatments for the obstructive shocks are going to be to administer O2, uh, make, the, make sure the patient's in a comfortable position or as comfortable as it can be. Um, and then you're going to want to transport them to the hospital or possibly get ALS to either do an intercept or meet you at the scene as they can take care of some of the stuff with the tension pneumothorax with doing the chest decompression. Otherwise, there's not much else we can do besides getting into the hospital and turn them over to more advanced care.